May the Lord bless us uh, today. I greet everyone that is uh, taking part in this worship service on this day in October of 2020. We just sang in the spirit that there is nothing impossible for our God. For today's meditation, let us turn to the book of Exodus chapter 17, verse 15. And Moses built an altar and called the name of it, The Lord is My Banner. Today, we will be thinking about Jehovah Nissi, the part one of that sermon. Jehovah Nissi, Jehovah Ende Kudi. Jehovah Nissi, the Lord is My Banner. What is meant by banner here is the songs of victory, the songs of dominion and power. A child of God has a blessed life and he has the authority uh, to receive such things. Oh, even though we're going through the midst of trials and tribulation, the world should not see that in us. The Lord has given us some banners that we can lift up in front of the world. I will talk about some of the banners and then continue on with this portion. Oh, the Lord has uh, lifted up some things in our lives that other people can see. The first banner we see is in Psalms uh, 60 verse 4. Oh, uh, the Lord has set up a banner for those who fear you and they that they they will flee from it, uh, from that, and take courage. The first banner is truth. Uh, what is the truth that we need to lift up as a banner in our life? The first truth is Jesus is the truth. Uh, in John chapter 1 verse 9 we read that the true light that gives light to everyone is coming to the world. John is giving his revelation about Jesus that he is the true light that gives light to everyone in the world. In John 14, 16, Jesus himself introduces himself. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The first banner we need to show forth in our life is that there is the banner of truth which is Jesus himself. The truth about the Lord Jesus that we when we were mired in sin and we were uh, sinking in sin, he had lifted us up and put us on a rock and, and given us salvation and that is the Jesus that we need to lift up. Uh, so he says, if you know the truth, the truth shall set you free. The second is that there is a true word. The word of God that is settled forever in heaven that does 
not change one bit. Yohanan Padaneda Padaneda Yeshu than the Mahaburogi the Pratane Linga Pratitu. In the high priestly prayer, John 17 17, the Lord said, Satyata, every wish to get a me out of the Wajanam Satyamaguno. Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. Mata Milata, they were in the Wajanam Satya Wajanate and Amir Tipidikana. We need to lift up as a banner the word of God, which is the truth that never changes. People put in the Gondo Wajanam for a boy, young of you. There is an appropriate word that we use when we speak the gospel. It is in 2 Timothy 2 verse 15. This is an appropriate word for anyone who preaches the word of God. This is not a place to tell stories. This is not a place to make other people hurt. This is not a place to make other people happy. Apostle Paul is telling to Timothy, if you want to preach the word, what are you to preach? Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved one that is preaching the gospel, the, the word of God, unashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. That is why the word of God is able to cut us and also bind us up. So we need to lift up the banner which is truth, which is the word of God. The third truth is the spirit, which is truth. In John 16, 13, we read, When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you in all things of truth. Oh, when the spirit of truth will let us know what is right and wrong in our life. When we submit ourselves to that spirit, that is when the the world knows that we are people that are lifting up the banner of truth. So the first banner we are to raise is the banner of truth. The second banner we are to raise is in Psalms 20 verse 5. May we shout for joy over your salvation in the name of God set up our banners what is this banner it is the banner of joy that is in the presence of God oh the not depending on the circumstances uh, whether things are going well or bad for you you have this banner of joy that a child of God can lift up we are studying from the book of Acts chapter 5 in 5 verse 41 in the next few days we see that they were happy or joyous uh, to uh, suffer ridicule for the name of the Lord in the home of a righteous man is the sounds of joy and uh, praise. That does not mean that there is no sorrow. You might be holding on to your pills and taking them daily. You might have medical reports that stand against you. You might be thinking about all the things that are against you tomorrow. You might not have the things you desired in this life. But when you hear them pray and sing to the Lord, they know uh, that there is the joy of the Lord in them. 
Oh, no one can take this joy from us. That is the joy we receive from the Lord, the banner of joy. The third banner of a saint of God. In Songs of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 4, we read there, He brought me to the banqueting house and his banner over me was love. The third flag or banner we need to fly over our lives. Oh, is the banner of the love of God that uh, uh, loved us without any excuses. Oh, let the world see that what is inside of us is God's love. Oh, let that love overflow out of us that in our walking, in our dealings with others, this, flow, this love overflows into their lives. Oh, let the world see these three banners in our life, the banner of truth, the banner of joy, and the banner of love exuding out of us. This is a victorious, uh, joyous Christian life. Uh, that is why we sang that the Christian life is such a pleasant life. Those who trust in the Lord will be full of joy. Oh, then we say that even if we have losses, even if we have defeat, the Lord is our Savior. Oh, when darkness is all around us and when the kings are against us, in the fiery furnace and in the lion's den, we will lift up a banner. So this morning we're thinking about Jehovah Nissi, the banner of the Lord. Oh, we're going to come back to Exodus chapter 17, verse 8 onwards. The people of Israel, as they were in their wilderness, came to a place called Rephidim. The people of Amalek had come to battle against the Israelites in their journey. So now the people of Israel are in a different Difficulty. The people that were in joy in their exodus out of Egypt after uh, uh, having the Passover lamb and having victory. Oh, they are full of joy because they're no longer slaves and they are having the victory that they are no longer in bondage. Oh, so with great hope, they're coming forward in their land as they're going to their promised land. They have a dream that is bubbling out of them. Oh, they are dreaming of Cain in the land flowing with milk and honey. It is a land that is fruitful with all kinds of fruit, figs and grapes and everything. Oh, it is a beautiful place with green lawns and beautiful homes of the promised land for the children of God. So it is the dream in their hearts and they're full of hope as they're going forward. Six lakhs of people had this dream. 
ആദ്യത്തെ യുദ്ധം ആദ്യത്തെ അനുഭവമാണ് രഫദീമിലെ യുദ്ധം but the first battle they had to face in the wilderness is in rephidim ഇത് ആദ്യത്തെ യുദ്ധമാണ് നോർത്ത് കണ്ട ഹല്ലേലൂയ ആഘോഷിക്കേണ്ട വരും ദിവസങ്ങളിൽ അഭിമുഖീകരിക്കാനുള്ള 100 കണക്കിന് യുദ്ധങ്ങളെ ജയിക്കാനുള്ള ദൈവത്തിന്റെ പരിശീലന കളരിയാണ് oh this is also the place where the lord prepares you in the first journey to get ready for hundreds of journeys and battles that you have to face in your wilderness ദൈവം നമ്മെ ഓരോ വിധ ശോധനയിൽ കൂടെ കടത്തി വിടുമ്പോൾ നാം ഒരു കാര്യം തിരിച്ചറിയണം oh when the lord sends us through different trials and pains we have to understand ദൈവം നമ്മെ പാഠങ്ങൾ പാഠങ്ങൾ പഠിപ്പിക്കുകയാണ് the lord is teaching us a lesson നാം ഇതിൽ നിന്ന് എന്ത് പാഠം പഠിക്കുന്നു എന്നുള്ളതാണ് സത്യം what is the truth is what lesson are we learning from this nam thoramana mai kelkunu kaiyu 9 maasam mai namum paadangalil kudi kadannu pogiyana the last 9 months we have also been going through these lessons logam muluvan covid nahal 19 enna maaraga vibathinte pidil aayirikkum all of the world is under this pandemic of covid 19 devam namme chirathu parishilippikkya the lord is preparing us for some battles kandadakka varum cheruda idinu valudu varan irikkunnundu oh this is just a small thing there is greater things coming. അന്ന് നിങ്ങൾ പകച്ചു പോകാതിരിക്കേണ്ടതിന് ദൈവം നമ്മെ പഠിപ്പിക്കുന്ന പാഠങ്ങളാണ് the lord is teaching us a lesson so that we do not falter when bigger things come i believe that these are the schools of suffering and college of chastisement oh this is a school of suffering and the college of chastisement ഇവിടെ നിന്ന് നാം പഠിച്ചു പാസ് ആയി ഇറങ്ങിയാൽ ഏത് പ്രതിസന്ധിയിൽ നമുക്ക് പിടിച്ചു നിൽക്കാം if we can pass this course we can stand against any issue that comes our way എന്റെ മാനിയ സ്നേഹിതരോട് ഞാൻ ചോദിക്കുന്നു കഴിഞ്ഞ 9 മാസമായി നാം എന്ത് പഠിച്ചു Oh let me ask you children of God the last 9 months what did you learn in this college Aadmiga swadantriyom aaradhana swadantriyom nishedhippikkapadana divasangal vannalum njangade aaradhana tadasapadugilla Oh even if there are days coming where we cannot worship and the freedom is gone our worship will not end Aale aalayangalum adachu pootiyalum njangade aaradhana nilkkilla nu njangal padichu Oh we learned that even if our churches are closed that our worship does not stop Pathikkuvan edam valam ആൾക്കാരുടെ സ്വാധീന വലയമില്ലെങ്കിലും ഞങ്ങൾ പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുമെന്ന് പഠിച്ചു ഓ ഈവൻ ഇഫ് വി ഡോണ്ട് ഹാവ് ഫെല്ലോ ബ്രദേഴ്സ് സപ്പോർട്ടിംഗ് us ആ ലെഫ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് റൈറ്റ് വി വിൽ കണ്ടിന്യൂ ടു പ്രേ ഇൻ ഐസൊലേഷൻ ഉൽപ്പിറ്റുകളുടെ തിളക്കമുള്ള ശിശ്രൂഷ കണ്ണുകൊണ്ട് കാണാൻ കഴിയത്തില്ലെങ്കിലും അകം കൊണ്ട് ആത്മാവിൽ ദൈവത്തെ ആരാധിക്കാമെന്ന് ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് പഠിക്കാൻ ഇടയായി ഓ വി വർ ഏബിൾ ടു ലേൺ ദാറ്റ് ഈവൻ ദോ വി കാൻ നോട്ട് സീ ദ പൂപ്പറ്റ് മിനിസ്ട്രി ദാറ്റ് ഇൻസൈഡ് ഓഫ് us ദ ലോർഡ് വാസ് ലിഫ്റ്റിംഗ് us അപ്പ് ആൻഡ് ഹെൽപ്പിംഗ് us ഗ്രോ വീണ്ടും ഒത്തിരി കാര്യങ്ങൾ നമ്മൾ പഠിച്ചു വി ലേൺ സോ മെനി തിങ്സ് last 9 months joli kazhinjalum veetu varathavar college kazhinjalum karangi nadanavarkku veedu nalladhaanu padichille oh we learned that people that used to just hang out and never come home are enjoying life at home adukkalile bhakshanathinte ruchiyakke nammal padicha divasangalana oh we have learned about the uh, the sweet uh, tasty savor of home cooked food veedragathiyulla aathmiya santosham kootayma kudumba prarthana adinte mahaatmya bandhanamnu kazhinj 9 maasam padikkuvan idayai thirunnu the lord has told us the last 9 months what is the joy of family life family prayer and hanging out with family kootu sahodarangalude kootu sahodriyamarude vila endana nam arinjille oh we understood the importance of having fellow brothers and sisters prasangathinum paattinum okke rate paranjal ile demand kootti avarakke veetti verude irikkya the people who are putting a raid on preaching and and uh, uh, appointments are now sitting home alle deiva idakke nammale padipichu kondirikkuna paadangalana the lord is teaching us these things evra paad pusthakam 17 അധ്യായം തുടങ്ങുന്നത് ഇസ്രായേൽ മക്കളുടെ യാത്രയാണ് ഇൻ ഇസ്രായേൽ ദി ഇസ്രായേലൈറ്റ് പീപ്പിൾ ആർ സ്റ്റാർട്ടിംഗ് ദർ ജേർണി ഇൻ 17 ഓഫ് എക്സഡസ് യഹോവയുടെ കൽപ്പന പ്രകാരം ആലോചന പ്രകാരം അവർ രഫിദീമിൽ എത്തി ഇറ്റ് വാസ് ബൈ ദി അനോയിന്റിങ് ഓഫ് ദി ലോർഡ് ഹിസ് വേർഡ് ദേ ആർ ഇൻ രഫിദീം ഇവിടെ ഒരു പ്രതിസന്ധിയിലേക്ക് സഭ വന്നു ചേർന്നു നൗ ദി ചർച്ച് ഇസ് ഗോയിങ് ത്രൂ എ ഡിഫിക്കൾട്ട് ടൈം 600000 കല്ല കുടുംബങ്ങൾക്ക് കുടിപ്പാൻ വെള്ളമില്ല 600000 പീപ്പിൾ ഡോണ്ട് ഹാവ് വാട്ടർ ടു ഡ്രിങ്ക് ഇതിൽ നാവ് ദാഹം കൊണ്ട് വരടുമ്പോൾ ജനം വിലപിക്കാൻ തുടങ്ങി ഓ വെൻ ദർ മൗത്ത് ഇസ് തർസ്റ്റി ദി പീപ്പിൾ ആർ ക്രൈയിങ് ഔട്ട് 30 ലക്ഷം ജനത്തിനും കുറ്റം കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാൻ പരാതി പറയുവാൻ അല്ലെ മുള്ളിൽ നിർത്തുവാൻ ഒരു പ്രതിസ്ഥാനത്ത് ഒരാളുണ്ട് but there was a leader for them that they could always quarrel and complain to അത് ദൈവത്തിന്റെ പുരുഷനായ മോശ it was the man of god moses വേറെ സത്യത്തിൽ മോശ എന്ത് കുറ്റം ചെയ്തു oh what did moses do wrong truly ദൈവത്തിന്റെ ആലോചന പ്രകാരം ജനത്തെ മിശ്രയമിൽ നിന്ന് ഫറോവന്റെ കെട്ടിൽ നിന്ന് പുറത്തു കൊണ്ട് വന്നു ആ ഒരു ഒറ്റ കുറ്റമേ മോശ ചെയ്തിട്ടുള്ളൂ the only thing moses did wrong was obey god and his calling and take the people out of their slavery and into their free land 40 വർഷത്തെ മരുഭൂ യാത്രയിൽ ഇസ്രായേൽ മക്കൾക്ക് എന്ത് കുറ്റവും ആ 
But in their wilderness journey of 40 years, whenever they went through any problem, they would always point their finger at Moses. It is not just then, it is happening now as well. We have a tendency that if it is in the home or if it is in the community or churches or organizations to point the finger at the leadership. Or oh, the children will say, parents, it's your fault. The wife will say, husband, it's your fault. The husband will say, wife, it's your fault. And together they will say, God, it's your fault. It is no different in the church. Oh, they will say whatever against the leadership. Pastor and, and everyone in leadership is at fault. But children of God, listening to me, before you point the finger at the people that are in leadership in your home, in the church, or in your community, it would have been good for you you to remember one thing. Oh, they stood with you in the midst of your trials. Oh, the days that they spent tears and cried for you. Oh, during your time of pain, they were there as a good friend. Oh, they worked for you day and night. They supported you in every way. Oh, even though it is human tendency to forget that overnight. It was good to remember that it is now justice in the holy courts. Here the people of Israel is forgetting everything. We see in verse 2 like this. Oh, the people quarreled with Moses saying, give us water to drink. They started to murmur. Remember one thing. The same people that did not know what to do in front of the Red Sea and the Lord provided. The same lips that were shouting and jumping up and down and rejoicing as the Lord prepared a way in the Red Sea. The same people who sang the songs of victory that Moses taught them is now murmuring and uh, quarreling. The same people who lifted up the law and worshipped when the Lord turned the bitterness of Mara water into sweetness. In, in Exodus 16, when they were hungry, the Lord put down dew as manna daily for them. The Lord who provided them a quail and meat in the desert is the one that they are quarreling against. But one thing is for sure. What is the foundation of every quarreling or murmuring? Oh, when you start to forget the blessings that, that the people did for you, that is when you start to quarrel. What is the reason that there is quarreling in families? Why is there quarreling in the spiritual realm? When we forget the way the Lord has led uh, us and He has uh, given us blessings. Oh, with that same lip that says, I am so glad I have you as a wife. I am so blessed to have you as a husband with those same lips. 
ശരിയാക്കിയതിനാലാണ് നിങ്ങളാണ് എന്റെ നാശമെന്നും പറഞ്ഞതിന്റെ കാരണം അനുഭവിച്ച നന്മകൾ മനഃപൂർവ്വം മറക്കുന്നത് കൊണ്ടാണ് സ്വർഗം കാണിച്ച സ്നേഹം സ്വർഗം കാണിച്ച കൂട്ടായ്മ ക്രിസ്തുവിൽ കൂടെ സാധ്യമായ രക്ഷ മറക്കുന്നത് കൊണ്ടാ നാം കലഹിക്കുന്നത് ും <laughs> Do you know the reason for that? Sadrashya vakyam 10 inde 12. In Proverbs it says that. Avada nam ingena vaikunnathu? We read there. Paga valakkukalkku kaaranamaagunnu snehamo sagala langanangaleyum moodunnu. Oh the let love covers all and that bitterness is the root of all evil. Sneham illaymeyana pagayude aludiya kalagathinu thodakkam. The lack of love is the reason for conflicts. Sambathukalude aadikkam nammil vannathu kondana palaya sneham marannu poyathu. Oh because we have so much riches is why we have forgotten our first love aadmiya logathile paga valare prale prale ipo visrudhamana oh we see so much hatred in the spiritual realm endo kochu karyangalkku vendi etra valiya paga avachukondirikkunathu oh people have so much hatred over such small Or things thanam kittan vendi kaatikottuna ore kulsida buddhigalu oh the things that they do to receive a position sambathude avagaram santoshathode sagicha bhaktanmarude charithramana vishuddha veda pustakathinte charithra the word of god tells us about saints of god that were able to experience with joy their blessings singapinde vai inu rakshapatta veeranmare namukkariya we know people that were saved from the lion's mouth adhe deekagathu nu rakshapatta veeranmare namukkariya we know the young men that were saved from the fiery furnace sathal rajyangale adakki varicha bhaktanmare ariya we know saints that were able to overcome nations but nam manapuram marannu pogunnu but we are forgetting purposely deekagathu karinjavanum theenu rakshapattavanum ore pole daivathinu thulliyara Oh the Lord is he, everyone is equal before the Lord. Singhathinte vai inu rakshapattavanum singham kadichu keeriyavanum swargathinte munbil oru pole ullu. The Lord loves the person that was saved Hallelujah. from the lion and the person that was eaten by the lion as a child of God. Hebrews 11 inde 33 mudal vaikkumbol. As we study in Hebrews. Vishwasa veeranmarude pattiyanallo. Uh, we see the hall of fame of faith there. Rendu kootare kandu naam avade. We see two groups of people. Oru kootar singhathinte vai inu porathu varunu. One comes out of the lion's mouth. Uh, ൂട്ടർ സിംഹത്താൽ കടിച്ചു കീറപ്പെടുന്നു and some are eaten by lions it says ഒരുകൂട്ടർ വാളിനെ തട്ടി ഒഴിയുന്നു some people are uh, are dead by the sword ഒരുകൂട്ടർ ഈർച്ച വാള് കൊണ്ട് അരിഞ്ഞു മുറിക്കുന്നു and some are are cut up by it ഒരുകൂട്ടർ തീന്ന് പുറത്തു വരുന്നു some are saved from the fire ഒരുകൂട്ടർ തീച്ചകത്ത് ഈയാം പാറ്റിയ പോലെ കരിഞ്ഞു മാറുന്നു and some are uh, undergoing uh, persecution with the fire പക്ഷേ അവരെല്ലാം ഉയർപ്പിൻ ദിനത്തിൽ ഒരുപോലെ ആ ദൈവത്തിനെ but the lord it is all equal on the day of resurrection അപ്പോൾ അതുകൊണ്ട് എന്തുകൊണ്ട് അവർക്കൊക്കെ അങ്ങനെ നഷ്ട സഹിക്കാമെങ്കിലും ദൈവത്തിന്റെ അലലി നിർദ്ദേശമുണ്ടായി ആൻഡ് ദ ലോർഡ് സ്പോക്ക് ടു മോസസ് എന്താണ് ദൈവം മോശയോട് പറഞ്ഞത് വാട്ട് ഡിഡ് ദ ലോർഡ് സേ ടു മോസസ് നീ ആ പാറയെ അടിക്കുക ഓ ഹിറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് റോക്ക് ആ പാറയിൽ നിന്ന് വെള്ളം പുറപ്പെടും ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് വാട്ടർ വിൽ കം ഔട്ട് ഓഫ് ദാറ്റ് റോക്ക് ദൈവം പറഞ്ഞതുപോലെ മോശ ചെയ്തു ആൻഡ് മോസസ് ഡിഡ് ആസ് ദ ലോർഡ് കമാൻഡഡ് ഹിം ആ അടിച്ചപ്പോൾ വെള്ളം കുതിച്ചു ചാടി ആൻഡ് വെൻ ഹി ഹിറ്റ് ദ റോക്ക് വാട്ടർ കെയിം ഫോർത്ത് ഒരു നിമിഷം നിന്ന് ചിന്തിക്കണം ഓ ബട്ട് പേ അറ്റൻഷൻ മോശ അടിച്ചത് കൊണ്ടാണോ വെള്ളം പുറപ്പെട്ടത് ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് ബിക്കോസ് Moses hit the rock that water came out. ആ വാക്യം നിങ്ങൾ ഒന്നും കൂടെ ശ്രദ്ധിച്ചു നോക്കിയാട്ട്. Pay attention to that verse. അവിടെ എന്താ ദൈവം പറഞ്ഞത്? What does it say? ഞാൻ ഹോരേബിൽ നിന്റെ മുമ്പാകെ പാറയുടെ മേൽ നിൽക്കും. Oh I will stand before you there on the rock at Horeb. That is a secret. Moshe adichathu kondalla. It is not because of Moses beating. Aa paarayil deivam ninnathu konda. It is because the Lord was on the rock at Horeb. Namale ende ellathinte uravidam ende deivamana. Oh all of my supplies from the Lord today. I see God is standing for me at 
all the time and every time. I see the Lord standing for me all the time and every time. Oh, in that problem that has no solution, the Lord is there. Oh, in that burning issue, the Lord is there for you. Oh, it is because the Lord stands on it. Oh, in our every one of our prayers, in all of our works, it is only because the Lord stood before it. Oh, that is why there was fountains that came out of such negativity. Oh, we sang this morning in Romans 8.38. If God is for us, who can be against us? Oh, if the Lord the Lord can turn any fiery rock into water. The Lord can turn any stony rock uh, in, into a place of spring. The Lord can start a fountain in the issues that I'm facing. The Lord gave water to his people. Let me go forward. In verse 7, the people were drinking water and they were satisfied. They forgot their quarreling and complaining. We are like this as well. Oh, we forget about all the problems we caused in the past. Uh, we'll drink the water and we'll again we're uh, praising God, the Lord. The Lord does not forget. Her. The Lord does not forget it. Oh, it's not Even if you try to whitewash it, the Lord does not forget. Oh, there was a new name for that place. Oh, in Rephidim, and the place that they quarreled had a new name. What was the name? Uh, first place was Massa because of the quarreling. And Mariba because of the fighting. Oh, my heart is uh, sorrowed. When I meditated on it again, uh, I was shaking in prayer. The presence of God. Do you know the place where this name came upon it? Oh, what is the name of this place? Oh, Hore became Massa. Oh, the, the mountain of God, Hore become Massa. Oh, do you know? Many days ago, this is the same place where Moses was. Uh, dealt with and said, Remove your feet. To remove your sandals for the place where you stand is holy. This is where the burning bush appeared. And now it is Masa and Mariba. Oh, it is a place where he put his staff down. The place where he received new ministry. The place where the leprosy was gone. Oh, this is spiritual truth as well. Yes, you might receive mana and quails and you might receive the protection of the Lord. But because of our competition and quarreling, oh, who will repay the, 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 the shame in heaven? Who will repay for the shame that it has caused the spiritual world? Oh, we do things like this. The day that we were saved, we put away our luxuries on our ornaments. We threw away our uh, facial hair and, we, and everything else that went with it. We have been receiving the name that we are children of God. But as time went on, because of quarreling and complaining, oh, uh, listen with fear. Oh, 
എന്ന പേര് കിട്ടിയാൽ once you receive that name that you are a quarreler ഒരു മുൻഗോവി എന്ന പേര് വീണാൽ if you are an angry person ഒരു കലഹം ഉണ്ടാക്കുന്നവൻ ഉണ്ടാക്കുന്നവൾ എന്ന പേര് കിട്ടിയാൽ if you receive that name that you cause problems ഓരോ ജീവിതകാലം മുഴുവൻ ആ പേര് സ്ഥലമായി നിന്റെ ജീവിതത്തിൽ നിൽക്കും oh that you for all of your life there will be a name that is a place upon your life ഓരോ വേണം കർത്താവിനെ സേവിക്കുവാൻ oh serve the lord with fear and trembling സ്നേഹത്തോടെ വേണം മറ്റുള്ളവരോട് ഇടപെടുവാൻ you need to have love to others in verse 8 amalak petta navarkedire yuddhathinu varunu we see the amalak group come against them vere ningal parasparam kalagikkumbol por adikkumbol orthu kollayana oh when you're quarreling and murmuring with each other agathu kayruvan shatru avasaram nokki nilkiya oh the enemy is looking for a way to get in kallam kittiyaka manna kittiyaka you might have received manna and water veetu pishaji keri alleluya oh but the, the enemy is trying his level best to get in charchu vanadeka maalayam nilkiya Oh you might have a new sanctuary. Ye aalayathinagatha andhakara shakti keri nirthamaadu. Oh but the powers of darkness will come in the service. Indha vagal kaalam kuduma samadhanam nashippikkuna. Oh what is destroying the family peace? Kudumba tagarchile kondu poguna bhariya bhartakanmare kunjungale. Oh children parents that are taking your your life. Sabayoda sosthada geduthna alaliya priyapettavare. Oh the, the, the people that are taking the peace of the church. Indha vagal kettukolga. Pay attention this morning. Alaliya deiva sannadhil veenu karanjillengil. If you don't cry in front of the presence of god atale vaakwa do nammada donna vatta avasanipichillengil if we do not end our taking sides sabayil kudumathil pishajinte bembanam murugum oh the power of satan will increase and will be bound kattilagum paavi irutilagum oh the generations will be bound up and their future will be in darkness kaala namukku kalagangal avasanipikkanam so let us end this fighting ichchayiru van shatru nokki nilponda oh the enemy is trying his, his best to get in malekar idha israel nera yuddhathinu varu Oh the Amalekites are coming against the people of God. Not every war is the same children of God. എല്ലാ യുദ്ധത്തിന്റെ വിജയങ്ങളും ഒരുപോലെയല്ല. And the secret to victory in every battle is not the same. എല്ലാവർക്കും കിട്ടിയ സൗഖ്യമല്ല നിങ്ങൾക്ക് കിട്ടാൻ പോകുന്നു. You will not receive the same healing someone else did. അനുഭവ സാക്ഷ്യം നല്ലതാണ്. It is good to have personal testimony. നിങ്ങളെ ദൈവം നടത്തിയ വഴികളെ രണ്ട് വാക്കി പറഞ്ഞിന് കുഴപ്പമൊന്നുമില്ല. There's nothing wrong with saying the way the Lord has led you in the past. അനുഭവ സാക്ഷ്യം പറയുന്നവരെ സൂക്ഷിക്കേണ്ട ഒരു കാര്യമുണ്ട്. But something you have to be careful as you talk about miracles even if you say it for half an hour oh it is not going to be useful for anyone it is an experience for you it is an encouragement for others not every battle is the same the lord did not heal every blind person the same one is testified I was blind. Yesu nelatta chali yalle le kaalnu tuppale kondu undaaki. The Lord put his spirit in dirt and എന്റെ കണ്ണി പൂശി and put it in my eye അത് കേട്ടിട്ട് ബർതിമായിക്ക് എന്തോ സൗഖ്യം കിട്ടാനാ and what is bartim blind bartim is going to be uh, gained by that തൊട്ട സൗഖ്യമാക്കിയത് he was touched and healed അല്ല വേറെ ഒരു കുരുടനെ കണ്ടപ്പോൾ another blind man അവന്റെ കണ്ണിൽ തുപ്പിയിട്ട് മേനോട്ട് നോക്കാൻ പറഞ്ഞു and it was spit on on his eyes and told to look up ഓരോ ഇത്ര സൗഖ്യമാക്കുവാൻ ദൈവത്തിന് ഓരോ വഴിയുണ്ട് the lord has different different ways to heal different people ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞു അതിന്റെ അർത്ഥം ഇതേ ഉള്ളൂ this is what i'm saying god wants to give you a deliverance which does not have a reference or a record oh the lord wants to give you deliverance that does not have a reference or a record logam ilarum kandittillatha kettittillatha anubhavichittillatha oru vidudala swargam nenakku tharan pogunnu the lord wants to give you a new experience that the world has never seen devam thande pakkal korikkittullad oru kannu kandittilla oru chevi kettittilla oru manushante hrudayathil indu vare thonniittu polum illa no i as he no ear has heard no man has conceived in his heart what the lord has prepared for his saints sagodri nee anubhavikkunna yuddham undallo oh the battle child of god that you are facing ഇന്ന വെല്ലുവിളി ഉണ്ടല്ലോ ഓ ദ ബാറൽ ക്രൈ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് അഗൈൻസ്റ്റ് യു ചരിത്രത്തിൽ ആരും കേട്ടിട്ടില്ലാത്ത കണ്ടിട്ടില്ലാത്ത വിടുതലുകൾ തന്നു നിന്നെ പുറത്തെടുക്കുവാൻ ദൈവത്തിന് ചില പദ്ധതികൾ ഉണ്ട് ദ ലോർഡ് ഹാസ് സം പ്ലാൻസ് ടു ബ്രിങ് യു ഔട്ട് ദാറ്റ് നോ വൺ ഇൻ ഹിസ്റ്ററി ഹാസ് ബീൻ ഡെലിവേർഡ് ഇൻ സച്ച് എ മാനർ ഇവിടെ ആൽറെഡി ഒരു പുതിയ അതിലെ വിജയ പദ്ധതി ദൈവം അവർക്ക് ആസൂത്രണം ചെയ്തു ദ ലോർഡ് ഇസ് ഗിവിംഗ് ദം എ ന്യൂ ബാറൽ പ്ലാൻ ആ പ്രസംഗം തുടങ്ങുന്നേ ഉള്ളൂ ഐ ആം സ്റ്റാർട്ടിംഗ് മൈ മെസ്സേജ് നൗ ഒന്നാം ഭാഗമാണ് യഹോവ നിസി യഹോവ എൻ്റെ കൊടി എന്നതിന്റെ ഒന്നാം ഭാഗം ഓ ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് യഹോവ നിസി ഇവിടെ ഒരു പുതിയ യുദ്ധ തന്ത്രം ദൈവം അവർക്ക് കാണിച്ചു കൊടുത്തു ദ ലോർഡ് ഇസ് ഗിവിംഗ് ദം എ ന്യൂ ബാറൽ സീക്രട്ട് പുറപ്പാട് 17 ന്റെ 9 ആം വാക്യം ഇൻ 17:9 ഓഫ് എക്സഡസ് യുദ്ധ തന്ത്രം ഇതായിരുന്നു ദിസ് വാസ് ദ
പ്രശംസയും ദൈവ കുഞ്ഞാടും തൻ കുരിശും മാത്രം 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 This is the first mountain with the place where Jesus came searching for us. So the second mountain that Moses climbed. It is Mount Sinai, the Sinai mountain. In Exodus 19. Uh, in 24 to 32 the chapters. And 34 the chapters. We see in those chapters. ാണ് <laughs> He received the laws and the commandments of the Lord in this mountain. Oh, by the fingers of God, on the tablets, the commandments of the Lord was given on this mountain. This is the place where the children of God got the laws as to what they are to obey and what not to obey. രണ്ടാമത്തെ <laughs> second mountain in our spiritual walk daily we are searching god oh to obey the words and the laws of the lord to hear the voice and the word of the lord to hear from him daily with fasting prayer and submission the second mountain we take our steps into is mount sinai the lord will tell us that we are the temple of the lord how we are to glorify our lord with our bodies oh what we are to do and what we are not to do whatever we need to let go of oh the, the glory the shekena glory of the lord will come down upon us just like moses face was shining oh when every time we pray every time we lift up uh, every day when you hear the word uh, oh our face and our complexion changes in the second place oh so the psalmist says oh in your presence is great joy oh in an right side is joy forever hallelujah hallelujah the third mountain moses went up uh, in numbers 20 22 onwards we see that it is mount hor moshiyude kude ellathinum tunayum kootumayirunna tande jeshth sahodaran aharon maricha stalam this is the place where the elder brother who was such a friend to moses had died tande hallelujah spoke person ayirunna tande naav ayirunnu ee aharon he was a spokesperson the person who spoke for moses aaron tande kal moonu vayasinu moothu ayirunnu ee sahodaran he was 3 years older than moses ivide yana aharon de shavo adakku nadakkunnathu this is the place where aaron died and was buried aaron purohitha vastram uri elayasarne daripichiyana avade and his priest 
priestly garments were taken off and given to Eliezer. Many believe that Psalms 90 was written on this place. Uh, that uh, the world, uh, the, the, the ministry does not end with Aaron. Uh, we usually say at the, at the cemetery, who will uh, fill in the void that is uh, there by the death? There will be no gap uh, by one person leaving. I'm not talking about the space on the bench. Oh, the, in heaven's perspective, you dying is a gain. If Aaron is gone, Eliezer will do the ministry of the Lord. Oh, don't forget the ministry that he has given you to pray uh, for the nations. Oh, if you don't do it, the Lord will give it to someone else. So this is a place of separation and pain. This is a place of uh, death and pain. Oh, in this earth we have pain and ridicule and suffering. Many people that we love and that loved us will leave us on this earth. Oh, to spiritually that we are not to be so depressed at the death of our loved ones. But on Mount Hor we can see that the, we can trust everything to the Lord and lift up our hands and hand the plans of God over to Him. Uh, and, and, uh, burying Aaron, Moses is singing. Lord, you have been our rock from generation to generation. You have been our God from all time and eternity. We can sing in the midst of our pain. If someone is going through the pain of separation, if someone is going through bereavement, uh, with your pain, if you're going through pain in your body, we can sing as well. Oh, we love you, Lord, unchanging one. Uh, oh, through generations, you have been our fortress. Oh, this God is our God forever and ever. He will sustain us till the very end. Uh, oh, the people that have left us on this earth. Uh, oh, we can be assured that we can see them on the other shore and sing the song. Oh, so the third mountain is a place of pain but also of hope. So the fourth mountain, Moses goes up. We see that in Deuteronomy chapter 34, 1 through 5. Oh, it is Mount Nebo, also known as Pisgah. After 120 years on earth, after 40 years of glorious ministry, oh, what started on the side of the Nile, it ended on Mount Nebo. Nebo is where this ministry and this great life ended on earth. Oh, the legs that would run for the Lord had rested. Oh, the eyes that would see the face of the Lord is now resting. The hands that would do miracles with the staff of the Lord is getting a rest. This is the fourth mountain for us children of God. Oh, children of God, we have been witnesses to the death of many of our loved ones, but we also have a death coming. We have said condolences at many funerals, but the Lord will have a funeral for us as well. One day we will have to let go of this temporary 
The fifth mountain Moses would climb up. The fifth mountain that we would see Moses upon. We read that the Lord buried Moses in Mount Nebo. We know that the devil was arguing so that his body would not resurrect. And then people guessed at what happened to his body. But once again we see Moses on a fifth mountain. It is in the New Testament in Matthew 17. In Mark 9. And Luke 9. Oh a small mountain in the New Testament. Oh Jesus, James and John and G uh, would uh, go upon this mountain. We call it Mountain Tabor, the place of transfiguration. As Jesus is praying there, we see Moses and Elijah appearing on this mountain. The Moses uh, who was buried by the Lord in Mount Noah, uh, Nebo, uh, he was transformed. Uh, Elijah who was taken up with life, uh, if Moses is to come down, down. Moses also received a resurrection before the end of time. This is the fifth mountain in our spiritual life. Oh, the people, the saints of God on this earth will rise up one day. This is the fifth mountain we need to climb. Oh, when the Lord Jesus is coming in the clouds. Yeah, if we are living on earth or if we are buried six feet under, we will be resurrected. Oh, with a transformed body. There will be a day we will meet our uh, groom upon Mount Abalas. Oh, our life on earth is almost over. As we heard before, we don't need to worry about the political system. Our hope is not in the trumpet, but we are waiting for the trumpet sound of God. We are waiting for the trumpet sound of the Lord. It is not Trump we worry about, it's a trumpet. We don't care about the Joe Biden, but we are going to abide with my Christ forever and ever. I don't care about Joe Biden, but I will abide with the Lord Jesus. Oh, that is my dream uh, that I will live with my Lord. Oh, I am filled with that blessed hope today. Oh, we have mountains to climb, children of God. We will think about Jehovah Nissi, the part two. Oh, what is the Rephidim, the mountain that Moses climbed? Don't forget the mountain of our salvation. Don't forget about Mount Sinai that we need to climb daily. Don't forget about the word of God 
God that gives us peace at the time of the death of our loved ones in Mount Hope. Don't forget about Mount Nebo which reminds us that we will also leave this earth. But don't forget about the place of our transformation which is Mount Tabor. Just as Jesus' face was shining. Oh, this lowly body will have a transformation. Oh, the body that is full of shame will change. I see a group of people dressed in white. Uh, the saints that were, have died before me. The people that have lived for the Lord. They have been washed by the blood of the Lamb. Without spot and wrinkle, the church, the bride. Oh, the trumpet will sound soon. Oh, the, the Lord will make his noise. Oh, it is time for us to leave earth. Oh, the Lord is my banner, let me declare. Oh, and when the enemy was trying to hold me back, I will sing the song of victory. What is my song? Oh, saints of God, say together. Oh, death, where is your sting? Oh, death, where is your victory? Oh, hell, where is your sting? Thank you, Lord, that you have defeated sin. Because of my Lord Jesus. Lift up your hands and declare it. Oh, because of my Lord Jesus. I thank the Lord.